Adamovich bases from the Netherlands just released a new line of concept hollow body fretless bases with an acoustic inspired sound. Let's check them out. <laughs> If you're watching this channel frequently, you might be familiar with this bass here. This is my personal Adamovich hollow body six string fretless, an amazing sounding bass that we're frequently using in our demos here. And um, this is actually a prototype for this series for the hollow 33. Uh, hollow because of course it's hollow body and 33 is in this case the scale length. A little fun fact on the side, uh, until I talked with Nicola about these bases when they arrived and went through all the specifications, I actually didn't know that my base here that I've owned for almost four years now um, has a shorter scale and I'm sure that says something about my super professional approach here. <laughs> One thing that should be mentioned about these bases right away, because I think it's very important, is their weight, because they weigh basically nothing. This is a six string base and it weighs three kilos, which is just amazing. And the four string weighs only 2.6. And when Nikola Adamovich says hollow, he means it. These bases are built like acoustic instruments, so there are no tone blocks in here. Instead, he's using bracings to stabilize the construction, as it's done in classical instrument manufacturing. There's only one major difference. The back is made from mahogany and so are the sides. So there's no bent wood pieces for the sides as you would find them on acoustic instruments. Instead we get a solid mahogany body which makes it possible to put on a top like this, making it look like a normal electric bass, or let's say a normal Adamovich. Nicolas is using Heusel hamburger pickups in all his bases, so let's check them out and let's start with the uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> Many acoustic basses or electrics that try to imitate an acoustic or upright sound use piezo pickups. I'm personally not a huge fan in most cases because they sound often harsh and luck in bottom end. So I'm very happy Nicola doesn't like piezos either and worked out the construction with magnetic pickups for this design. I wouldn't call the Holo 33 an acoustic bass. It might be constructed like one, but the sound result is still unique to the series. You get lots of rich basses, a nice slow attack and a beautiful warm tone. Another major detail in sound design here are actually the strings. These are black nylons by La Bella. Here's what these sets look like. Uh, this is basically a black nylon material wrapped around the steel core, which is of course necessary to conduct a signal with the pickups. but. I just, I love them. These are, they sound so incredible. I have them on a bunch of bases. I had them in the past. I even put them on a fretted bass now just to try it out. And even that sounds great. And yeah, they're just perfect. They feel like flat ones, but they have this amazing low and heavy mellow tone. And yeah, it's, it's just great. However, back to the bass. Let's hear both pickups combined. <laughs> The Holo 33 is available as 4, 5 and 6 string and on the Adamovich website you can choose a number of options if you want to order one. Here are all the standard features, then you can choose between ebony and power ferro fingerboards, you can choose knobs and pickup covers, inlays, tops of different quality grades, electronics, different wooden bridges and all that good stuff. But Nicola kept this list simple. Even if you have no idea about any of these things, you can't do anything wrong. The basic features already determine the sound and characteristic of this bass. The options you choose from are mostly for the visuals. So now let's hear the neck pickup, my favorite. I 
I was really surprised to find out how different these two basses sound in comparison to my 6 string. The new ones are a lot more open and dynamic and as you've heard in the last sound sample uh, they can even sound a little bit dirty if you want to. But I figured out that's mostly because the string action here is extremely low, that's how uh, Nicola delivers his basses. Uh, the string action on my bass is very very high because I like that boomy fretless uprightish kind of sound and uh, of course if you prefer that you can get the same with these bases just raise the string action. Both of these bases are passive which is just a coincidence. I like it that way but of course a preamp would also be awesome to get more sound options. But even in a passive configuration these bases are very versatile. Each pickup has an individual switch to choose either serial, parallel or single coil wiring. Let's check that out. There are so many more things that I would like to mention about these bases, but we have to keep this video in a certain form and the YouTube attention span is our enemy at this point. Uh, but um, just one or two things. Um, if you're a person who likes bass heavy sounds, who likes mellow sounds, who like warm sounds, just, just sounds that you can take a bath in and you play fretless, then I honestly think this is as close to the holy grail as you get. These basses really are outstanding good. They have a, this amazing tone. And of course we showed a lot of different sound options here in this video. I personally, I only use one setting. It's the serial uh, setting for the neck pickup. That's my sound. That's the one I'm using all the time. And it's just, it's just beautiful. So if you're into this kind of stuff, I highly recommend to check these bases out. And uh, just one more thing. Um, I didn't really mention it in this video because again, it's getting too long, but uh, the main thing about Adamovich as always is their amazing ergonomic approach. These bases are so incredibly light. It's something that I've mentioned, but they play so well. They sit so well on your body. They're incredibly well balanced, everything. I mean, these are just masterpieces. Uh, if you want to learn more, just check the Adamovich website. They, they, definitely, you can read all about it, but I also reviewed actually my six string a year ago or so. Um, if you're interested in these bases, definitely also watch this one. Um, I'm talking different things, but there's also a different player, which of course gives also an interesting different perspective on the whole series. Um, and I guess that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't hesitate to smash the like button below and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more reviews like this. And I guess that's it. See you next time. Bye bye.